welcome to my simple sweater knit along. I decided to knit a simple sweater that's very wearable. It's kind of my favorite style to wear because it's like a big sweatshirt. Um, and I thought I would make videos every step of the way through the construction of this so a beginner knitter or anyone could just knit along with me every step of the way. So this is a basic sweater that anybody can knit and anybody can wear. It is my favorite type of sweater construction. So it's top down in the round, one piece, no seaming, um, and it's a raglan crew neck. So it is just like your favorite sweatshirt. So it's a welcome addition to anybody's wardrobe, whether you're a beginner knitter or not. And this is a very open knit along. There's no start date, end date, no pressure. I just want people to knit sweaters. So that's really just my main goal. So, um, so like I was explaining, you're just going to start at the neck. You're going to increase on these raglan increases to make sleeve stitches, body stitches, sleeve stitches. At the underarm, you're going to separate the body from the sleeves and you're just going to knit the body in the round, bind off. You're going to come back and pick up your sleeve stitches, knit them in the round and bind off. Then last, you come back, you pick up the stitches around the neck, you knit this little bit of ribbing and you're done. So it's that simple. And in this bulky wool, um, it comes together really quickly, which is really nice too, especially if you are a beginner. It's just nice to kind of bust out a sweater and then you'll understand really how this all works. So what you will need is the pattern, which is on Ravelry. It's called the Sw Simple Sweater Knit Along Pattern. And my name is Jen Guidley on Ravelry. Um, then you'll need yarn, of course. <laughs> My favorite sweater yarn is Rowan Big Wool. I have made a bajillion different sweaters out of this yarn and it really lasts over the years. It looks nice. It comes in great colors. It's not itchy or scratchy. Um, it's lightweight and it's just my favorite. So I really recommend this if you can do it. If you don't wanna use this yarn or you wanna substitute something else, just make sure it's very, very close to this weight. And we are gonna make a gauge swatch most likely a little bit bigger than this one. So you can measure your stitches and your rows per inch to make sure that your gauge matches what I list in the pattern. This is super important for it to fit correctly. And if you use a yarn that's way bigger than this, it's gonna fit differently. If you use a yarn that's way thinner than this, it's gonna fit way differently. So check your measurements. Um, if you wanna measure your bust, you can just pick that exact size in the pattern and knit it, and it will fit you just perfectly. Or if you want to go up a size or two for an oversized fit, that's great too. But yeah, Rowan Big Wool is what I suggest. It comes in great colors um, and I do really love it. Then we're going to use a US 11 needle. I love interchangeable circulars. If you have them, great. Um, because we're going to use a shorter length for the, the neck and a shorter length for the sleeves, like a 16 inch circular. Um, and then we'd use a longer one for your torso body stitches, obviously, to hold all those. You need a bit longer circular cord or like cable. Um, you can also use double pointed needles for the sleeves, which actually I really like to do because I can just kind of speed around and these sleeves take no time at all with this big yarn. So these are also a US 11 eight millimeter needle. Then you will need your stitch markers. I use the plastic removable kind that look like a safety pin. You'll want four stitch markers, one in a different color to mark the beginning of your round because they're going to be kind of situated at your sleeves and you're going to want one in a different color so you can keep track of where you are if possible. Otherwise, you can use pieces of scrap yarn too. Works just as well. And then you just need a darning needle, scissors, and you're off to the races. That's it. So I really hope you will know along with us. Um, if you do, please, please, please share your pictures on social media because I love to see your pictures and I love to see what colors you're using and what you're doing. So our hashtag is gonna be simple sweater knit along, super easy. It's the same name as the pattern. I'm gonna have all the links below to all this stuff. Um, and I hope we can make some sweaters. I'm super excited. Thank you for knitting along.